With the final Warp Tour right around the corner, it's no surprise that there'd be bands releasing albums to tour behind while they're on the Warp Tour. Today, we'll be talking about the pop punk powerhouses, State Champs, and their third studio album, Living Proof. Hailing from Albany, New York, State Champs consist of Derek Viscani on vocals, Tyler Sizz... I'll be back. Shelkovsky. Tyler Shelkovsky. on lead guitar, Tony Diaz on rhythm guitar, Ryan Scott Graham of Speak Low of You Speak Love on bass, and Evan Ambrosio on drums. It's crazy how so many pop punk bands took after Newfound Glory with the whole five members thing. On a personal note, I actually remember coming across State Champs in 2012 and hearing their overslept EP for the first time. It was actually the reason I got back into collecting vinyl. I highly recommend the song Critical off the EP. It gives me very early Take This To Your Grave Fall Out Boy vibes. They released their debut album The Finer Things via Pure Noise Records in 2013, and I actually really enjoyed it. After that, they went on to release Around the World and Back, and to be honest, after coming back to it, it wasn't as great as I remember. You could stick with the first three singles off the album and you should be good. The production was very akin to All Time Low, which makes sense as the producer, Kyle Black, worked on All Time Low's Future Hearts album, which brings us to 2018. State Champs are back, armed with producer John Feldman. Great. You know, The Finer Things was such a good album, I kind of wish they stuck with the original producer, Steve Klein, from Newfound Glory. Whatever happened to that guy? Oh yeah, forgot about that. Well, the least we can do is hope that John Feldman's fingerprints aren't left all over. God damn it. I mean, they picked like the worst possible lead single. This has Feldman branded all over it. And it's so weird hearing them go from this lead single To this. I just really feel like it didn't do what a lead single should do. Take Childish Gambino's This Is America for example. It did exactly what a lead single should do. It generated hype and got me excited to hear what he has in store for us with this upcoming album. But back to State Champs. With my lukewarm reaction to the lead single, I was kind of coming into this album with some concerns. Hopefully they'd be able to pull it together and make something great, or at the very least, decent. And for the first three tracks on the album, that was the case. The songs had lots of energy. Criminal should have been a single. It definitely is a lot better than Mine Is Gold and Dead and Gone. Crystal Ball, however, is the best song on the album in my opinion. It's got a catchy chorus, it's a very state champs feeling song, and I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote it during the sessions of their last album. However, after that, the album just seems to take a nosedive and just becomes a run-of-the-mill average pop punk record or at this point power pop leaving a lot to be desired in terms of liveliness which is something I never thought I would say about state champs considering that Derek has one of the best voices in the genre and you know a after the first part of the album the band seems to sort of abandon their sound in favor of a more all-time low light sort of sound, which I wouldn't have a problem with if all-time low wasn't actively making music. With that being said, this album is definitely a step down from their previous work. And don't get me started on the album's slow songs. For whatever reason, this album felt the need to have three of them. Now, I understand that it's kind of standard to have a mid-tempo song or a slower song or a power ballad on modern pop punk releases, 
but three is a bit too much. One of the three, Mark Hoppus of Blink-182, does make an appearance and, in my opinion, gives one of his weaker performances in quite some time. And the fact that he's even on the album made me wonder what could he have done with this album considering his track record. With that being said, Living Proof is an album that has sparks of good here and there. However, it's bogged down by a lot of repetitiveness. Many of the songs carry the typical soft verse, loud chorus dynamic, which is something that I feel made the album a little more boring. I think this band is definitely capable of putting out better material. Maybe getting a better producer would help. But regardless of what I think, if you're a fan of the band, you're going to enjoy this record. This is a very summer, windows down record. And that's all it really is. I'm gonna have to give it a 5 out of 10. I just really didn't enjoy this album as much as I enjoyed their previous works and a little bit of what their contemporaries have been putting out. But that's just my opinion. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know. This has been For The Record.